Hello guys, who here, back with another video, this time around going over the update for the Chloromancer. So if you're looking for a build, I'll link that in the description. It's built exactly the same as it has been in the past, so there is no change of whatsoever to building it. But I'll go over the changes that was on the... I did a video for P the PTR server, and they have changed a little bit, but it's more or less the same. But I do want to make a complete video that you guys can see from what I did before so you guys are updated to it. So it's just more of a going over the new skills and also how they work. So let's get into the very first ability. All right, so the first ability we are going to look at is actually the passive. So the Chloromancer works basically absolutely the same as it did before. So when you hit your plants, they are going to grow faster and you are therefore going to get their optimal uh, potential as you are using your auto attack to make them grow faster. But now your passive also, let me see if I can get one, it's 25% chance of auto attacking to spawn one of these guys. And as you can see, it's growing slowly. But if I use my this uh, thing, the uh, my auto attack, it is going to, you know, spawn a little bit faster. Let me try to do that one more time. And as you can see, the one that spawned next to the enemy I got hit there. And if I do that again, it's going to, uh, you know, uh, grow faster and also heal me up. So as you can see, there's one more here and there's 25% chance. There was not one there, so it's only a 25%. And these things are going to heal you for 5% and deal 500% 500 magic damage. It was a thousand on the uh, PTR server, so they did scale it down a little bit. And I think that was actually good because it was a little bit too strong for the auto attack and how fast you could actually get these guys to spawn. So that was the passive. Let's move into the very next ability. All right, so the first ability that we do have is the Gatling gun. That's what I call it. It's more accurately the green Gatling, that's what it's called. And what you do is that you throw down a plant that's going to shoot very, very fast. But it's not easier to see if I go into a demonstration. So there is a U9 monster right there. Not a big dude, but uh, there you go. The, you throw it down and before uh, it doesn't shoot before it goes up to full, you know, uh, grows fully up. But then when it has, it's going to, you know, go... Uh, shoot very fast. You can make, of course, again, you can shoot at the plant and that's going to make it grow up very much faster and be fully uh, grown. And that's going to, when it's going to do the damage, it's not going to do any damage. Uh, I can actually, I can go over here and I can throw down this one. You can see this not shooting before it goes all the way to the top and there it goes. And it's going to shoot at the enemies. So that was the uh, number uh, or the uh, right click. Uh, button as we have on PC. It's of course going to be different on the consoles, but so let's move into the next ability. All right, so the next ability is the number one ability or the lashers as they're called, the leafing lashers as they are right here. We are used to have these, we had them before, uh, but now they're just moved over there and got a little bit stronger. So what you do is that you run up to your enemies and you throw down this one. And as you can see, when it fully grows, it's going to spin as we are used to. Uh, let me throw down another one uh, as soon as the cooldown is ready. Uh, as you can see, then it's got spin. And if you want to make it, of course, uh, spin, uh, go, go start spinning faster. All you have to do is, you know, start uh, shooting at it with your auto attack. So just like the other one, you just have to use your auto attack to make your plants grow faster. You, of course, also heal people, as I said before. So, yeah. That was the uh, the lashers. Let's move on to the ultimate ability. All right, so for the ultimate ability, it doesn't just shoot out uh, random plants all over the place anymore, but it empowers the plants that you are using. So if you're using this one, the number one and the second, and you use your, uh, now you can see these are all fully grown. If I then use my uh, empower, it's gonna make them a lot stronger when you then use your abilities. It doesn't uh, empower uh, already uh, existing flowers, so you have to use your ability and then use. You can see they are a lot bigger than the other ones are. So, um, but they are going to persist through, even though that this one is on cooldown. It's they are going to stay like this until you, of course, get that. So, let me show you guys that one more time when I got the cooldown ready. All right, so the cooldown is now ready, and I'm just going to show you again. Uh, you can see these are the regular sized ones, so you can definitely see the difference. Uh, you can see right there, these are, you know, not kind of just as tall as I am in a way. This is a little bit shorter, but they're almost the same as that. 
And as I said, you have to use your uh, you know ultimate ability before you use your uh, other ability. So we empower that one. You can also see the icons changes color. I can shoot at him if I want to. And you can see this is a lot taller than I am. And this is actually also taller than me uh, as they are empowered. So as long as you have that going, you can see the, you saw the, you can see there was a like a, a big, uh, what's it called, a yellow circle around me. That is of course the ones that are empowered. So let me just get rid of this guy and being all rude, interrupting me doing this. But lastly, we are gonna talk about the class gym because it did change as well. All right, so lastly, we are going to talk about the class gym. So it did get a little bit better, but nothing significant. So if you don't have the class gym, I do not recommend you getting it. But uh, overall, you know, all class gyms does do make things better. Uh, so definitely, you know, get it if you want to go probably go to the end game and stuff like that. But for solo play and stuff like farming, it's not super necessary. All it does is that when you do activate your ultimate, uh, it is going to make it a better, as you can see right here, uh, they didn't give us, they just updated all the versions that we had before in the uh, Fey update, we actually got to keep our old uh, ones for, you can actually get two equipped, uh, but they just changed the ones that we did have. So as you can see, when you know your ultimate growth, which is ultimate growth is your ultimate ability, or empowered growth, that's what it's called, uh, it heals you and your allies and your plants around me. So it just makes everything grow even faster out of the plants and stuff. So it does help with that, but you can just shoot them real quick and then you are going to get them grown up. So it's not absolutely necessary, but it's definitely better than what we had before with the class gym. So again, I I don't know if I, I said before that I wouldn't recommend it, but I would say it's a 50-50. It's really up to you, whatever you want to use. I'm still going to use it because I like all the class gyms because it just brings more flavor to all the characters, I feel. So I just like the, the whole idea about class gyms and I wish there was uh, a class gym for every single ability. But uh, yeah, it's, it's fine what it is. And I just wanted to mention that it's basically the same and it really doesn't do anything. So yeah. That was the that was all of it. If you liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Helps me out very much. And I hope you guys this like this uh, Chloromancer update. Uh, I do definitely like making them for you guys. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.